Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today is Floss Tube 81 where I'm not going to talk about cross stitching too much. I do have some unboxings for you that are related to Vlogoween, which I have not been keeping up with. I will tell you about that in a moment, but uh, I have just knitting progress today for the whole week. If you haven't watched my whip and chat video from last Saturday, I streamed it, streamed it on Twitch, so uh, it looks a little funky if you're watching here on YouTube, but I explain why. Basically, I rescued a cat <laughs> and I have not had a stitchy bug. My stitchy bug is gone. Um, I'm sure it'll be back soon, but in order to compensate, because I am running, helping to run a marathon to raise money for charity called Marathon for MMIWG2S, which is Marathon for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women, Girls, and Two Spirits. Um, our goal is to do 100 hours either on one project, which is what I was doing. I was doing 100 hours on a, one single stitchy project. Um, but I just burnt out. <laughs> so uh, I have moved over to knitting and I'm counting all the hours that I knit instead. So I have that progress. Then I have the uh, Stitchy Box Halloween Bash Box, which is this right here. And I have the Black Needle Society Trick or Treat Box prizes for the last one, two, three, four days in each. So it's going to be a bit of haul today. Uh, and then I also have something new to share with you as well. So let's get into it. Um, like I said, the reason that I didn't film much at all, uh, more than my normal, is because I rescued a cat. And she is currently recuperating. She's doing really, really well. And trying to get her used to maybe living in a house. Maybe. I, I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Um, I'm trying not to get my hopes too far up because she is what they call here a barn cat. Um, so she is used to being outside, but she sure does love the back bed. Like the guest bedroom. She's on the bed all the time now. So um, I don't know. Maybe she'll enjoy living her life inside. We'll see. I'll give her the opportunity once she's completely healed from, um, from the surgical cut here on her side. Once she's healed from that, then I will give her the choice. I'll open the door. And if she wants to stay, she'll stay. That's kind of where I'm going at the moment because I know that my um, my partner, my husband, uh, is not too game. So anyway, that's a lot of an update. <laughs> However, uh, like I said, I was knitting, 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 knitting. So I am working on Shawlography, which is this year's Mystery Knit Along by West Knits. So if you are also working on this and you don't want to be spoiled, then please just click forward until you just click forward uh, and skip this part or look away. Look away. <laughs> look away and I'll tell you when to look back. So. Oop, that's the wrong side. <laughs> Ta-da! Oops. Look at that! Or don't look. Whichever suits you. I'm going to go through this and explain a little bit. This is where we started. Then we did these. And we kind of went all the way around in a half circle, yeah? And that this spot right here where the skull is that's where I stopped so from this point over and then up is all I've done in a whole week I've done a lot so obviously um all of that is new all of this section here is new so pretty I love this those v's then we had this funky part here, this texture, so cool. This section was very relaxing, but I did mess up. So I just fudged it, I don't care. My shawl, my rules, um, so it's personalized. And then I just did this part today. 
the the gold on the inside I was um, doing that last night I'm purposefully not being descriptive just so if you're not looking you won't get spoiled but I did what I'm doing in gold uh, there's 10 rows of that and I I knit all of that while watching the Joker last night the Joker from 2019 I thought it was okay that was really dark I mean I really like the dark DC movies. Well, I was corrected. It's a Warner Brothers movie. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that is really cool and textured as well. So um, I have one more row. I'm going to put this away. Hang on. Don't look yet. Okay, now you can look if you don't want to be spoiled. I have one more row of that section to do and then we're moving on to a new section which I haven't skipped ahead on this one, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I don't know what's coming up. So I did the math. I watched one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 episodes of Buffy. And I did a little bit more while I was away. And I went ahead and I, I did some math and I, I'm pretty sure I rounded down, but I have that I did about 16 hours this week. So if we add that to the 65 and a half that I did last previously, um, I'm up to 81 and a half hours on the um, marathon for MMIW and we have 11 days left. So I think I can do it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can handle 20 more hours if I count all of my crafting and I log it purposefully like exactly so that means that I am donating $16 and I'm just going to go ahead and round it up to 20 so I'll put my thing up here so that you can see that I donated to the charity if you would like to match me that would be awesome if you can't match me that's okay just spread the word um, you can use Instagram Facebook whatever you want and um, my link to make a donation is just down below in the description box or if you're on Instagram it's in my link tree and we are planning a Zoom on Sunday, the 20, is it the 24th? A charity Zoom on Sunday, the 24th. How to sign up to reserve a seat for the Zoom, the charity Zoom on Sunday. If you can make it and you want to come, go to the Sign Up Genius. That is where you reserve a seat. You sign your name, follow the directions on signupgenius.com, I think it is. And um, basically you would pledge like $10 or more to reserve a seat. It's up to you, but $10 is the minimum. Then you go over to the donation link, which is 99 pledges, and then you donate however much you want. It could be $10, it could be more. Then you need to send your confirmation email to Alicia at Resist Stitch. So on the Sign Up Genius link, there would have been instructions that will have her email. You can um, Instagram her a screenshot of it, I think. Um, but it's probably best. I just got stuck at my diamond painting. Um, it's probably best if you um, email her. And then I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> Hopefully, um, time is to be discussed and the link is not ready yet, but it will be soon. And hopefully I will be stitching something. I'm sure I will. I mean, it's only a few days before Halloween, so I gotta, I gotta get something Halloween-y out. Uh, Soul of the Rose. I chose that project for a hundred hours because I thought that it was probably best to work on that the most, like as in that one needs the most stitching, but... I just got worn out, that's all. So I'm gonna move on to Halloween stitching now. Cryptids, uh, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, Drawn Thread, uh, Carriage House Samplings, isn't that, that's the one with the um, Halloween Hawk Run Hollow. Really wanna work on those, I do, just, just to have some fun. And not stress out, because I'm stressing out and I don't need to stress, nobody needs to stress. So. Let's move on to Stitchy Box. I'm going to start with Stitchy Box. You can see my diamond painting accoutrement 
from this morning's uh, Twitch stream, which if you're not following me on Twitch, I highly recommend it. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Rachel Raycraft. You can watch me live there and you can watch the playbacks if you like. So we're doing 17, 18, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Wait. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, and I have Casa Sanina Hall as well. Yeah. Forgot about that. Okay, so let's open up some of these boxes and then I will show you. So I have all Stitchy Hall, then I will have Yarn Hall as well. Let's start with Stitchy Box Day 17. And I will open up my cup because I'm keeping all of my stuff in a cup since a lot of these are very small. And I haven't watched anybody's videos. Ooh. Day 17, orange cubic zirconias. Orange bling is perfect for Halloween stitching. If I can get it to, please. Hold please. So shiny. They are really shiny. I'm sorry you can't see it. I'm sorry I'm a mess. I'm a mess today. So these are super faceted and very pretty. Pop those in the, the cup. Really don't want to lose those. So that's day 18 or day 17. This is 18. Just also something very small. What is it? Oh, cool. Okay, what does it say? Day 18, Swarovski Crystal Skull. Create an epic Halloween scissor fob with this fabulous crystal skull. I don't know if you're at all going to be able to see this. How do I do this? <laughs> look at that. That is really cool. That will look good on a fob. So that's going in the cup too. Sorry, I look like a mess. I just got out of the rain with Luna. We were on a W-A-L-K. Day 19, which opened in the box. So I haven't looked. It just was open when I opened my box. Ooh, nice. See, we have silk, I think. Day 19, charcoal flower silk. Yeah. It's pretty. This colorway, I started... Sorry, this colorway started as a Miss Dye adventure, but I think it might end up being permanent addition to our line next year. After all, every witch needs charcoal in her witch's cupboard. Ooh, that's very pretty. Yeah. I should have cleaned up before I filmed today, so excuse the mess. That big box, I have no idea what it is. I think it's a diamond painting. And day 20, I think this is a pattern. Oh, what is this? Great Pumpkin Florentine. Samplers revisited. Reproductions and originals by Patty Yergi of Delaware. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's a lot of stitching though. That's a lot of stitching. Okay, and it is a paper pattern and it is a lot of solid stitching. That's cool. That's interesting. Does it have like an explanation of what the designer was thinking. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. 150 by 150, 36 count legacy by Picture This Plus. Using one strand of general art floss over two linen threads, 
The pumpkin was stitched in cross stitch over two and is easily stitched over one on any even weave fabric. Sorry. The DMC threads are close matches, but not perfect matches for the over dyed threads. To stitch this piece, it is easiest to turn the chart 90 degrees and stitch it sideways because of the bar, bar jello. Oh, that's called bar jello? Interesting. Bar jello type pattern. Real bar jello, I hope I'm saying that right, I'm sorry, is stitched in long stitches, but this chart gives that you the effect just by using simple cross stitch. To remind you to stitch it sideways, I have labeled one side top. I suggest you label your linen in some way also so you don't forget to orientate your piece. <laughs> that would be bad. It takes uh, gentle arts, fragrant cloves, baby spinach, witching hour, mulberry, sunflower, bittersweet, and toffee. Copyright Samplers Revisited 2020, Patty Yergi, Delaware samplersrevisited.com that's cool so you just you stitch it sideways and then that way it's easier to go down in this way that's super smart um interesting i like that i'm gonna go ahead and just pop it back into the envelope so that it doesn't get hurt or damaged in any way. That's really neat. I like that a lot. It's different than anything else I have. So that's always good, right? All right, next up we have the Halloween, or the Trick or Treat box by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. <clears throat> Last time that we met, I got the blanket and the Fright Night linen. Fright night, fright night for your third pattern. Hang on one second. I put it away. So we're just going to continue. So 17 is in one of these and it's obviously threads. Ooh, ooh, lots of threads. We have DMC and Weeks Dye Works. So we have coal two skeins of coal and a parchment and then we have <clears throat> five skeins of dmc very autumnal cool let's see what it says i have a scratch card if you haven't been here where did my coin go no, I've oh there it is it's like no my coin <laughs> Those of you who have been here a while. Thread pack uh, by Weeks and DMC. Called for by the designer, specialty and DMC fibers for your third kitted project, which is with the Fright Night. Where did I put it? <laughs> That's what I want to know. All right, 18. Looks like a pattern. My crown is falling again. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Guys, it's a witchy stitcher. Oh, it's called Ghost Stories. Look at it. Yeah, let me get it nice and close. Oh, that is so cute. So let's see. I think the coal, okay. The Weeks Dye Works coal is the ghosties, the black ghosties, and then the parchment is the inside of the ghost. This could, could easily be substituted if you don't want to use weeks. Oh my gosh. Somebody look at the, look at the way that it was finished. That is adorable. I love it. I like the 
I don't know what you call that. It's like a, a braid around the edge. I don't think you can see it, but that's super duper cute. I love it. How big is it? 64 by 90? That's nothing. Oh my gosh, that's nothing. Y'all. I can't, I can't, I can't start everything. I want to though. So we got Witchy Stitchers, uh, Ghost Stories with the Flosses and the Fabric. That's really cool. I like it. I like getting all these kitted up projects. And that's not all. <laughs> nay, nay. We also have days 19 and 20 to go. So here is day 19. Aw, look, we got stickers. Pip stickers by Pip Sticks. We've gotten their stickers before. Dark Magic. Potion, Magic Spells, Cauldron, Black Kitty. Ooh, that looks like a ramen bowl. That's really cute. I like the stickers. Adorable. Moon Dust. That'll be for finishing, I think in the journal that I'm making. And then day 20. She's nice and squishy. And it's got a witch on it. And I haven't looked, so... Oh, wait. 18. Sorry, I forgot. Coin. There you are. I'm going too fast. 18 was the witchy stitcher pattern. It's time to gather around a spooky campfire and tell some ghost stories this Halloween. If you haven't seen Theory Tuesday, yesterday's video that James and I did, please go watch it. It's all about haunted places in Ireland, and it was it was a riot. It was really funny. Day 19, Beautiful Life Sticker Sheet by Pip Sticks. Spice up your stationery this month with this adorable sticker set. Cute. I don't, I don't do any, um, what's it called? Journaling yet, but that would be really cute for journaling. What's this? Ooh. I've never had this before. So this says fiber on a whim, plum hand dyed cotton velveteen. It's so soft. Wow, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Like one side is soft and the other side isn't. That's so pretty. Let's see what it says, because I think it I think it's for finishing, but I don't know. Back of a pillow, maybe? Plum Finishing Velveteen by Fiber and a Whim. We love purple for Halloween finishes. Use this velveteen for an FFO of your own. FFO means fully finished object. Cool. It's so soft. I don't know what to do with this though. Maybe I'll put it with the with the witchy stitcher. Cause that would look cute, but I, I don't know. And it's shedding everywhere. <laughs> okay. Wow. All the goodies. Okay. Um, more, I have more goodies. Just keep pulling them out. So at the last stitchy zoom, uh, we were, we were giving out door prizes. Cause that's one of the things that we do is if you, you know, if you donate to come to our Zoom, then we offer up stuff for free for you. And I think it was like a week or two ago, and I just was, I realized, man, I don't have enough patterns so that I can give them away. So I went on Casa Semina, which is an Italian store, uh, so that I can get some stuff for everybody. And throw in a few things for me. <laughs> so... Came in a box 
And then in a bag, and it's a little bit, <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, that's my invoice. Nobody wants to see that. So, one, two, ooh, three, that's interesting, four, five, oh yeah, six, wonderful. Okay, so here's what I got. I got Darling and Whimsy Designs, Deanna's Be Spooky. Bear with me. You're just going to have them hang out with me. If you haven't drank any water today, please get some water. Water break. My water is in the living room. This is Bee Spooky. I'm not normally a bee person, but look how cute that bee is. And the spooky has eyes in it. And there's crows and a spider. And it's pretty. <laughs> it's so cute. This is a nice small. This is 63 by 47. The model is stitched two over one on 14 count murky. By Picture This Plus. And finished into a pillow with pom-pom trim in Wizard by Lady Dot Creates. It has a week Styworks saffron and two gentle arts, but you could probably change those if you wanted to. You don't have to use specialty floss if you don't want to, or if you can't. So that was number one. I thought it was super duper cute and totally topical, right? I got that one. If you ever get one of these and the uh, envelope casing, the plastic casing is uh, less than pristine, you know why. Next up, I found this one. <clears throat> or did this come as a freebie? I threw my invoice. Luna. Oh, there it is. No, I must have I must have ordered this. This is um called Cupcakes by Angel Stitchin. I love you more than cupcakes. And then there's a little cupcake button. Cupcakes are stitched over two on 32 count using two strands of flossed Belfast Linnet Petite Point Natural with white dots. And I know you can get that on Lakeside Needlecraft. Um, it's super cute. Uh, and then there's there's actually a, a um, reminder. It says, please get your yearly mammogram ultrasound. Angel Stitchin, 2015. Angel Stitchin at AOL.com. And I think that this was on sale, so it's possible that they aren't designing. I don't know. Oh, it came with the button. I didn't realize. Look at that. It's a little polymer clay cupcake. How cute. Oh, I didn't even realize. I love you more than cupcakes. I thought that that was cute because um, I used to have a cupcake making business called Ray's Homemades. This one is called, actually, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Tyro Lean Christmas. And that is a super glossy picture. I thought that was super cute for a stocking, you know? It's got beads and lace on it. It's got back stitching. It's got all the stuff I like. Um, okay, and then I'm just gonna hold it like this, but I'm gonna read the back. It says, list of materials. We've got lace. One skein of Caron Collection Wildflower Cotton Embroidery Floss in Nefertiti Passion and Midnight. 
Carrying Collection Water Lilies Silk in Hint of Mint. One package, oh, DMC Metallic Thread, 5283. Where's that? I don't know. The picture doesn't show. Beads, one package of Mill Hill Antique Glass Beads, 03041. Don't have that. It says, if you want to use... Oh, one piece of 14 inch by 11 inch of 28 count French lace linen from Wichelt. If you want to use linen for the back, you need a piece of 14 by 22. Okay. Stitch count 105 by 150. This stocking was awarded an honorable mention on a Christmas stocking motif contest on Caron website of December 1998. It encloses some typical typical old Austrian motives as a tribute to my beloved Austria and Austrian friends. And this is Giulia Punti Antici or GPA at Puntia Puntiantici.com. Interesting. So I guess if you look up G GPA, 1998 though, I don't know. Really pretty. It caught my eye. I wanted it. I like the reindeers. Speaking of reindeer, I saw this one as well. I'm going to have to take this out of the packet. I'm going to stitch it anyway, so it doesn't matter. It has a one of these ones. Sorry. This one a packet um hander biten kass this is in german so i apologize um this is a picture of woodland animals in the snow wearing sweaters i had to uh yeah, I just had to. Treffen der Waldtier. Nope. Don't know. That's that's the name there. So this is on Casa Sanina as well. But like, look, there is a buck, a rabbit, a squirrel, a doe, and a robin. And they're all wearing sweaters. And the robin is wearing a scarf. There's also this beautiful, like snowflake and other pretty details at the bottom but it's only at the bottom it's not like going all the way around which is what I like I just thought it was super cute there's quite a lot of DMC in this if you can see this this paragraph right here uh and I think there's an anchor as well but hey I'm not gonna Ooh, and it's a color pattern oh that is so nice See, I can work from color patterns if they're on paper, but um, not black and white. My eyes go crossed. So yeah, I love this. It's super cute. And I guess if you wanted to, you could just stitch the guy, the the animals at the very top. So that's that one. Then I have Blackbird Designs Halloween Eve. I had to. I saw it. Um, this one has the most beautiful crow. Oh, sorry, wrong way. There's like a raven and a pumpkin and a black cat and a house. Look how big it is. There's this beautiful detail down here. I'm not quite sure what that's called. We have a crescent moon, which is something I don't see a lot in cross stitch uh, for whatever reason, like a crescent moon. Um, the beautiful ivy stems coming off of the pumpkin with the Quaker stars over there and then we've got an urn and this alphabet I just like that alphabet so yeah this is a blackbird that is completely sorry I can't show you but I'm holding it strategically here um, it's the whole thing is pattern is in black and white there's a lot of 
specialty flosses that are called for, but there are there are DMCs listed right next to it, and some of them are blended, which would be fine for me, I think. It says, Halloween is almost here and everything is ready for little ghosts and goblins. A sliver of moon lights the night and orange stars shine. Something has spooked the cat. I hope it wasn't that crow guarding the pumpkin. You can tell Barb loves Halloween. This long, narrow sampler is perfect for the season. Rest in peace, Barb. You designed some really beautiful things. And I'm glad that I have this one for my collection. So that's Halloween Eve by Blackbird Designs. And remember, they're still out there. Last but not least, oh, actually before that, I got some more over dies. These are, this is Deep Sea by Gentle Art. And I love that color. It's really pretty. I need it for another design. And then I, I went ahead and I got it. <laughs> the Cross Stitch Magazine Halloween Special. Um, this Halloween edition has some really amazing charts. The ones that I like the most are this cat. I know you've seen this magazine a billion times. So if you want, if you want me to do a flip through, will you please use the word flip in your comment so that I know whether or not I should do it or not, but, um, or just tell me you want to flip through, but this grumpy kitty. I'll find the Grumpy Kitty. Grumpy Kitty and there's another one as well. There's one that looks like Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Um, there are a bunch of smaller, like pretty cute smalls in here as well. So if you're looking for a season of smalls, even for next year, you know, just to have the magazine. Uh, there's also the amazing Autumn Lane Stitchery called Current Mood. I know you've seen that. I can't find it. There's so many ornaments. I think it says there's 50 plus ornaments. Um, but yeah, there's one. Oh, and it has all of the places to buy. There we go. Look at that. That is so helpful. Thank you. I am so a visual person. Um, seven. It was at the front of the book. Angry Cat by Stitching in the Rain. And Michelle Bendy has a has one a design in here as well. Where's hers? I just saw it. Two singing in the rains. Anyway, there's loads of beautiful patterns in here. Oh, there she is. Oh no, that's that's the other one. Anyway, I don't want to waste your time. Um Go ahead and buy it. It's still in the stores. Um, totally worth it. I think it cost me like 12 bucks and it's got dozens. I mean, so many beautiful Halloween patterns. It's not like they're going to go bad, right? Right. All right. Last thing. This is turning into a, a really long episode. Oof. Right. So I got this bag, box, bag over a box from a local yarn dyer. I was looking for something that people could, uh, if you are in Europe, that you might want to buy a yarn advent calendar for Christmas. And I found this one. This is Wild Atlantic Yarns.
Wild Atlantic Yarns. Yarn Advent Calendar. DK Wave. This is non superwash Highland wool in DK weight. Original price was 180 euro, but I actually got a discount and the discount was on their website. And so I got this plus shipping and VAT for 159 euros. So I still saved a lot of money even with shipping uh, and taxes and stuff. So, um, I'm not going to open this yet, but I just want to let you know I got it. This is going to go somewhere where all of my uh, unboxing yarny goodness for the month of December will go. So I have this tea, more yarn, and uh, the boozy chocolates. <laughs> December is going to be lit, y'all. So it's going to be really fun. But they are, like I said, they're an Irish yarn company uh, and I wanted to support local. So I will be opening these and I might be using these for the cat vent cowl. I may be casting that on so that I can do a color a day, every day. We'll see. We'll see if that works. But yeah, no pressure. So that is it, everybody. I got so much so much goodness today so thank you for staying with me and uh spending your time with me today i hope that you didn't mind just um just know that if you if you are struggling and you know if you put yourself under pressure and you're starting to collapse under pressure it's okay to change the rules because we make the rules right uh when it comes to crafting and these um you know, hashtags and events and these deadlines and all this stuff. This is all arbitrary. And it's okay to occasionally remind yourself that if I don't, if I don't meet this, is it going to hurt anybody? No, then it's okay. Then I can tweak it a little bit. And that's something that I struggle with quite often uh, as, as someone with what I have. Um, so it's, it was a good exercise in going, okay, let me backtrack, let me reset, let's just have fun and keep it, keep it fun. So that's what I did, and I'm having a blast, and I cannot wait to show you what I get up to between now and next week. So if you're interested, um, you know, and you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I invite you to subscribe, join the family, you can come over, have a cup of tea, <laughs> just uh, hopefully you're enjoying your time watching these videos, and if you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below, like I said subscribe, you can ring the bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video, and I have new videos almost every day, except Sunday, uh, not for too much longer, but we'll talk about that in another time. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful rest of your week. Happy hump day, and I will see you all tomorrow for my next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.